Hey, this is Zach with Iron Oak Farm. We are out in the bee yard today. Uh, I installed two packages in two of these hives out here. It's been about three weeks and I'd like to get in there, make sure the queens are doing their job and clean up any messes they started making and just see if there's uh, anything else that needs to be attended to. So let's take a look. <laughs> So after giving them a little bit of smoke, I'm getting in here, and what I found is a beautiful brood pattern. All this beautiful cap brood here. Same thing on the other side. There's some rogue comb I cleaned up, a little bit of a mess there. Everything's looking really good. We got some honey. On the outside corners, that's pretty normal. Let's take a look at another one. Now we're on the lookout for the queen, but if we don't see her, that's not a big deal. We've got some more capped brood. We got some larvae in there. If you look really closely in these ones, there's eggs at the bottom of these ones. So she's doing her job. She's doing a great job. We had a little rogue comb here. I pulled that out, a bunch of dro uh, drone brood. And we're going to get that out for uh, just to help keep control of the mites and plus it was just kind of a mess. Same thing on this side. We've got some drawn comb. It's not drawn a lot, but I did actually see a few eggs in the bottom of these cells. So that is great. Okay, so I pulled that top box off. This is a double deep uh, brood um, chamber. So what I've seen is we got some, some rogue drone comb that was stuck to the bottom of the frames on the other box so i'm going to clean those up i'm just going to ask these guys to get out of the way actually we're going to give them a little puff just to keep them occupied and i'm going to scrape some of this stuff off of here and put it off to the side and i'm just going to take a look at one of these center frames loosen this one up take a peek see what's going on it's hard to do this with a camera in my hand all right this one's really light so there shouldn't be a whole lot going on here what are we seeing a lot of drawn comb that's good I think this frame was probably drawn in there before we installed the package. A lot of this was. Looking at the bottom of some of these, I'm seeing a few eggs. Not a lot, but that's okay. They're doing their job. Put them back in place. I'm going to squeeze these together. Now we saw eggs in there and, uh, some other larva and capped brood. So I know that queen's in there and I know she's doing a good job. So I've squeezed all these frames together to make sure that they don't make a mess. It'll hard, they'll put propolis in between these frames right here and it'll make it really hard to get together and then the frame spacing won't be right and you get all that weird rogue comb that they build. So we wanna make sure we eliminate that as much as possible. So that one's good to go. We're gonna put that back together and check the next one. So this is the second hive. I pulled a, a frame out. So I got a little more room to work here. And I uh, already took a look at a couple. Let's pull this one out. So what we're seeing is a lot of drone, or uh, uh, drawn comb. I think this was already drawn before they got in here. Not a lot going on in here. I don't see any eggs or anything in this one. We'll check the next. Now we don't have to find the queen. We just wanted to find evidence of the queen. And there it is. Capped brood. That's what we're looking for right there. Take a random look for the queen. I don't see her. See this little lady? She's got a bunch of pollen. Looks great. Everything looks good. Now this one right here, this one protruding, that's actually a drone. Uh, that's in there 
looks a little different. It protrudes quite a bit. It's kind of bubbly. Same thing on the other side. You can see some larva in these ones. Some really young larva in these ones. Might be kind of hard to see for you, but I see them in there. Looks great. Looks great. A little rogue comb on the edge here. I'll probably cut that off. So here's the next frame I pulled out I wanted to show you. Nice uh, brood pattern here. Uh, there's lots of bee bread and such on the outside, some nectar. And what else I found was a queen cell. That's a beginning queen cell. There's nothing in it. I checked inside. There's no egg. There's no uh, royal jelly in there. So they make these once in a while. It's, it's more of a precautionary measure if they, you know, they need a queen. So I'm actually going to take my hive tool and, and scrape that out of there just so uh, we don't get any swarms. I'm not expecting this hive to swarm anytime soon, but it's always possible. We just have to keep an eye on it. Everything's looking great otherwise. Here's the next frame. This is absolutely beautiful. Look at all that, that uh, capped brood there. That looks nice. You got some propolis or some uh, bee bread and honey and nectar off on the sides here. Take a look at the other side. Oh, look at her with all that pollen. Dandelion, perhaps. We've got some drones at the bottom here. That's a nice pattern. Now, one thing I am doing to help with the mites this year is I am installing these drone frames. This promotes them to draw out drone size comb, which will promote the queen to lay drone eggs. And this time of year, from what I've been told, uh, the mites, the Varroa destructor mites, they love hiding out in, in drone brood. So if we can get this capped and then take it out, once it's capped, put it in the freezer for a few days, it'll kill everything and then stick it back in there and they'll clean it out and there will be a lot less, uh, lot less mites in this hive. At least that's the, uh, that's the idea. So I need to find a frame I can take out of here. I did the same thing on, on this hive. Needed to find a good frame I can take out of here that that's, nothing's going on and just replace it with this one and we'll see how that goes. So I found this frame that wasn't a lot going on here. So I'm going to take this one out and I'm going to install this drone brood frame and see how it goes. This hive is getting a little feisty. I've uh, kind of overstayed my welcome here trying to film and everything at the same time, uh, but that's all right. So this is going to go in there. And then as always, uh, you want to tighten up your frames to reduce future problems of them making rogue comb. Look out, look out. And I'm going to leave them be for now. So that concludes our simple hive inspection of these two packages we installed on these two hives right here. I'm eventually going to split these hives when they get a little bit stronger, but they're they're doing really good for only being in there for three weeks. Their, their population levels are already rising. Uh, everything looks great. Uh, the queens are doing their job. I didn't see them. I didn't. Uh, I didn't particularly look for uh, either either queen, but I was. I had my eye out for. Her. And if I'd have seen her, I would have marked her. Uh, I would never marked her when we installed uh, the packages. Not a big deal. Uh, just makes it a little easier to find her in the future. But that's okay. So if you enjoy what we do out here at Iron Oak Farm, please subscribe and like the videos. And uh, check us out at ironoakfarm.net. And we'll see you later.